everyone. I have a very exciting video that I have been looking forward to make. A company reached out to me to review some brushes. And what I thought was very exciting is it's a company that I've already purchased on my own. And I'm gonna have that video linked right up here. But I, about a year ago, bought these brushes. These are Squirrel Hair. And I believe you pronounce this company Fumuli, something close to that. And I really enjoyed these. So when I seen that they were interested in sending me some more, I was like, yes, please pick me, pick me. So yeah, this is the new set I just received. Now these are sable hair watercolor brushes. And of course you can use it with gouache, ink, whatever you want. As long as you take care of your brushes, they should work just fine with whatever you wanna use them with. Very pretty box. I also believe they claim that these are Kalinsky sable brushes. I'm gonna have that linked down below. I believe these are about $21, which is a really good price for decent watercolor brushes. And I really enjoyed that first set I bought, so I have no doubt that these are also gonna be Rockstar. So let's flip you around so we can get right into this box. Okay, friends, let's see what these are all about. Okay, so they come individually wrapped. Very nice. We have two of the flat tips in a 16 and an 8. This looks to be a cat's tongue in a size 16. Right, we have five round brushes, 14, a 12, an 8, a 4, and a 0. And the zero isn't quite as long as what we would consider a rigger, but it, is, it looks like a very nice detailed brush. Okay, let's take the caps off of these and start testing them out. I also wanted to do a quick shout out to this set that I still currently use. This is their squirrel hair. I believe this is only like $16, guys. This is a good set if this is what you're looking for. I wanna do a little comparison. Let's compare this to the Silver Black Velvet number eight. I know everybody loves these brushes. Here is the number eight from Fuumi. Now, after you get the brist bristles wet, I prefer these over these. And I'll state that video up here somewhere where I compare a lot of brushes. I think these are overhyped. I just do. And I would buy this over this brush any day. We're gonna do a swatch of each brush so you can see the line width that they make. The paper I'm using today is Strathmore Watercolor Cold Pressed Paper. I'm using this because it is smoother than most cold pressed papers. So you can really see that line width. The 16 flat, the 8 flat, the 16 filbert flat round, whatever you'd like to name it, the 16 round, the 12, the 8, and the last one, the 0. I swatched these twice so you can see that you can get a pretty thin line or a little bit of a thicker line if you like. Let's get to playing with these brushes. Now today I'm going to be using my Arches Block. This is the rough texture. So this is a little bit more textured than just your typical cold press. I really am enjoying this paper. It's in a block already for us. I'm going to be pulling from a few different palettes, but um, at first I'm going to be doing my tree line with some of these really pretty granulating watercolors. I'll have that video here if anybody is interested in what those are. I'm going to be starting with this flat 16. Right there looks good. Right now I'm taking my 12 round to do the rest of this. I've got some colors mixed up.
Okay, now we're gonna let this completely dry before we do our foreground. We have a very nice late summer tree action going on here in the background and we're gonna do some other little flowers and wheat and all kinds of fun things up here. But first we need to let this dry completely before we can do the next step. Okay, well that's drying. Let's talk about some other brands. Um, I already meant, mentioned this silver black velvet. I know I give this brush a lot of crap. It's not that it's bad. It's not bad at all. But this alone is over $20. I mean, for $20, you can get this whole set. That's all I'm saying. And I like these brushes more. Now, I know there are a lot of people out there that swear by these. Hey, great. Good for you. I'm so excited. But if you want to, if you're just starting out, or if you just want another good set of brushes, and you've been painting all your life, I say try these out. Now, this particular one is Squirrel. So if you were into Squirrel, I would get the set I bought first. Now, I did find in my collection this Princeton Heritage. I think this is maybe 9 or $10 just for one brush. Um, this is Synthetic Sable. So I'm going to compare this with uh, the four here when we get down doing some detail. So I'm actually going to use this brush for just this side later on. And I'll use this brush for this side. And we'll see if you can tell a difference. I'm telling you, you can't. And this is more enjoyable. But, you know, hey, you can see for yourself if you'd like. We are pretty much dry. It's a little damp, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to continue on down here. Now, what we're going to do is mainly just a late summer scene. Down here, we're going to do some grasses. I'm going to add in some other mediums, not just watercolor. So you can see that these brush brushes can be used with anything. Uh, this time of year in Kansas City, we have a lot of chicory. And it's a really pretty blue flower that grows everywhere. And you also see a lot of Queen, Queen Anne's lace. They are a lot of times together. So we're going to have a little white in here. We're going to have this really pretty blue. I'm going to add in some gouache to make these flowers. We're also going to play with a little bit of white ink. We're going to throw it all at it, okay? So let's get started. We don't want this to dry completely, but it is quite wet right now. So we're going to let this do its thing and we're going to get some of this acrylic ink out. And we're going to put some little bits of white flowers back in there. Just little ones, little tiny ones. Not a whole lot because we're going to add more later. Now this is where I want to start building up my grasses and just all my little greenery pieces. I'm going to try to remember just to use this brush over here, but we'll see how that goes. This is the six and this is the four.
Okay, now we've got some of our trickery in. We're gonna we're gonna make more foliage around those here in a second, but it's time to make our Queen Anne's lace. Get some gouache, and we're gonna do almost like a dry brush effect with this flat. my finished piece using all my new brushes. I had a wonderful time. I can already tell I'm going to love these brushes. I love the other ones I got. But anyway, thank you for joining me today and thank you to the nice folks at Fuu Mui, maybe, perhaps. Um, thank you so much. This was a fun experience and I really like your brushes. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!